Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a what's new for you for 2022 for the first month of the new year. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Please go ahead and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I actually recommend you do so. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, Saggies. I hope you guys enjoyed it and celebrated it safely. We're going to see what's new for you for 2022. What can you possibly expect and look forward to? I just noticed I haven't rang the bell for the last couple of readings. If you guys would like a personal reading, that information is down below. We have Source for Saggies, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the, what's new for you for 2022. Saggies, what's going on with y'all? Thank you guys so much for like, sharing, and subscribing. What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's new for you for 2022? My banner's falling over here. Are you guys falling for something or someone, Saggies? Mm. I'm actually about to go fix it. One second, guys. My strength banner that was falling down. So you guys could be uh, losing resistance here, or let me say, unable to hold back any longer, or getting to that point. What's new for Saggies for 2022? What's new for them, Spirit? What do they need to know? Please and thank you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Sagittarius. What's new for you for 2022? Okay, no, we're not. Saggies, really? We're not, we're not doing that. We still have two more songs to get through. Okay, so it's not all about y'all, Saggies, right now. We're not doing that. Thank you. That's what we wanted. All right. All right, Saggies, what's new for you is... Drum roll. Are we missing the card here? Oh, we are. Okay, but I guess this is what they want for y'all. I just realized that we only did three oracles, so choose a new direction. I believe you guys got this in your last reading. Look at the bigger picture, full moon is Sagittarius. So, okay, Saggies, this is spirit coming in strong on your asses. Netcaster, preparations come to fruition. You guys been preparing for something here, Saggies? We got 42, which is six. That's movement. Moving to calmer water here. Moving to new heights. Okay, let's see what we got. They didn't give y'all an abundance oracle. I'll pull one for y'all at the end, okay? I mean, this is just obviously the way this was supposed to go down. But I'll pull one at the end for y'all. Don't let me forget. Okay. 
Okay. New direction to this here. A fiery, passionate new beginning here. You got interest in something new, Sag? What's new for Sagittarius for 2022? What's new for them? Could be another fire sign here. But this is definitely just spirit communicating one-on-one -on -one with them and you. <laughs> your energies here already. I feel like you need to take your own damn advice and look at the bigger picture here, Saggy. All right, what's new for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Hangman, hey, still sitting there. Piscean energy, why are you still sitting there? What's new for Sagittarius for 2022? Saw the King of Pentacles. King of Wands. Is that you guys? They said could be. Could be not. So somebody might like the color purple. The actual color purple. But I meant to say the movie color purple. Wow, look. The Ace of Wands. And look, there you are, Saggies. Temperance and the Tower. Look, these feelings for this to be happy here. Two of Cups. Putting the death to not having this or putting the death to this. Oh my God. Queen of Wands. Okay, Saggy, your reading's done. Let's clarify this energy here. <laughs> I know some of y'all was like, what? That's it? Four minutes? Look, I've been seeing tarot readers put up videos for two minutes. And y'all, and, and some people love this shit. I'm just saying. All right, Sag. So clearly, from what I'm seeing here, you like fuck this shit. I want my baby. There she go. There she go. And I'm mama. All right, all right, all right, all right, Sag. So I mean, why don't you just go get it then, Saggy? If you feel like this here, if this is how you are feeling about your divine counterpart here, because we got the King and Queen of Wands. I'm going to show you guys. We have the moon. We have the sun, Leo energy there, but ultimately representing ultimate happiness. We have the two of cups. And then we have the queen of wands. So, and we already have the king of wands. So, and you guys are looking at each other. I feel like you guys probably watch each other. Not in like a, um, a bad way. This is like good. But this is what you want, Sag. I feel like, I think this is the same energy that came up in your last reading here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with another fire sign like yourself. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces. Oh. Alright, Sag. So, I think this is basically what was coming out in your other re reading here. What's new for Sash for 2022? Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We have Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Devil, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So you could be, you could have experienced this energy here. You could have had a karmic cycle, and maybe that's what the holdup is. Maybe that's why you're afraid and that's why you're nervous because you thought the last connection was your divine counterpart and you got duped is what I'm hearing. Probably took a little bit of a financial loss as well. Yeah, four cups here. And that, and that energy probably still watches you as well. Possibly even reached out. They had the audacity. Yeah, Six of Pentacles here and the Eight of Pentacles probably saying that y'all can work it out and that y'all can rebuild and woo dee woo dee woo. Alright, what's new for Sagittarius for 2022 for the first month of the new year? They're Knight of Wands, so definitely want to charge ahead to something here.
this candle's flame is kind of high and the wick is really low. I actually need to get another candle here. We have the four swords. We have the devil again. And we have the high priestess. So maybe you're feeling like this connection that you're feeling, Saggy, maybe you feel like it's another toxic cycle. But I'm telling you, it's not. Now, the person could have experienced some toxic energy, but I feel like they healed from that or is healing from that or you guys could be healing from something here. But I feel like the high priestess here, I feel like intuitively you kind of know what's up, but I feel like you're, I don't know. Could be somebody you met at work. I just saw the three of pentacles there. This seems like the same exact from your previous reading though. Nine of cups, but you want it. Someone could be drinking a lot, though, for others of you. Or sad, you might drink, be a heavy drinker. Not quite an alcoholic, but you just like to drink. And that could be clouding your intuition here. Maybe you need to stop drinking a little bit here. And you'll see that this is what you need to do. You have the five of coins here. Yeah, I feel like if you don't act on this wish here, um, look what's at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Queen of Wands again. So I'm going to pull her out. Um, we have the Page of Swords. What did I say? I feel like you guys watch each other. But this Hermit energy is here for what? Virgo energy here? God, we're going to have to clarify here because I'm not really seeing... Other than what I just mentioned here that you might just be thinking that it's deceptive, but no, it's destined. The two of cups. That's this is what you're supposed to do, Sash. This is where you're supposed to go. Towards your divine counterpart. King to the Queen of Wands. So y'all could both come together and celebrate. What's new for Saggy for 2022? What's up with this net cast? Let's see what's up with this. 42 is 6. 6 of swords. Moving, like I said earlier. Five of cups. Six of wands. Knight of Swords, so it might be some action taking place here. The Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords. I'm going to clarify this right the fuck now. Three of Cups is back at the bottom of the deck for y'all. Let's see. Oh, we got a card that's over in this deck. Ace of Wands. Which was the energy in the beginning? Interesting. Tell us about this King of Wands, this Knight of Pentacles, this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wow. Four of Wands. I was about to say Scorps, but um, I just did Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups here, so someone's very intuitive here. We have the Seven of Cups here. And we have the Ten of Cups at the back. Saggies, this is possibly your Twin Flame here. I'm sorry. It's Six of Cups, not Seven. Six of Cups. The glare, y'all. Excuse me. Um, and we have the Queen of Cups here. So if someone really loves you, or you love them, or vice versa. What's this Devil and this Five of Cups energy and this Eight of Cups energy and this Ten of Swords? Seven of Wands. Yep, the Three of Swords. So you guys could have experienced this heartbreak from a past connection or that your divine counterpart has. But it's the it's y'all justice to come together here. Libra could be dealing with the Libra. 
Yeah, see what I say. The lovers. So, yeah, this was this past energy here. So, I feel like you both probably went through similar shit here. Got the Six of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, do y'all see this? Look, to the Knight of Swords again. Look, guys, look. This is so fucking funny. High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. But, so, look, we have... Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in fast here. We have the Six of Wands, Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So this could be, and we have the Six of Cups. So we have a past life love connection here. I'm strongly feeling that. Let's see what these cards is that flipped over here. Nine of Swords. This is with this Ten of Swords energy. Five of Swords. And the High Priestess. Okay, so we got the High Priestess and we got the High Priest as well. So this is another indication of a divine counterpart here. The High Priestess and the High Priest. So this is a spiritually led divine connection here. Something that you manifested here with the with with the magician, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you possibly want to propose to this person, or this person wants to propose to you. Let's see what the outcome is going to be for this connection for y'all. Others of you, this could have been like. A third party connection that you guys experienced as well with the three of swords clearly the clear indicator and the ten of swords here. But ultimately you do have a new love here, which is beautiful. A past life love connection here with the six of cups, six of coins, four of wands. It's like every lifetime y'all come back and y'all find each other and y'all get married. With the four of wands, the ten of cups here, the queen of cups, ace of, ace of wands, six of cups, king and queen of wands, high priest, high priestess. It's like every lifetime y'all y'all choose each other. It's like every lifetime y'all experience the same shit within like a year or two of each other and then y'all come together. Oh, eight of wands. What's the outcome for this energy here, spirit, please and thank you? What's new for Saggies for 2022? What is the outcome for this connection? This divinely guided, protected leg connection here with the seven of wands here. It's very protected. And when you guys come together, it's going to still be the fuck protected. Look, seven of wands there. But we have the two of wands that fell out here. But it landed sideways on this lover. So that's clarifying, I think, possibly that old energy. What's the outcome for the new energy here, the divine counterparts? Yep, the chariot. You guys are going to move. Here's the eight of wands again. And eight of pentacles. Yep, you guys are going to go towards each other. You guys are going to come together here. Eight, eight, eight. Look, Eight of Cups, you guys are going. You're going towards your true love. You got 888 here. That's the spiritual number of abundance as well. And look what's at the bottom. Four of Wands. So there you have it. You two will be together. And look, here's the Page of Swords again. I feel like you guys definitely watch each other here. And look, here's the Sun card. So it could be a Leo. Or this is just going to be your ultimate happiness here. Which we see here with the Ten of Coins. I was going to say the Ten of Cups. Did the Ten of Cups come out? Yes, it did. Ten of Coins, Ten of Cups. I mean, you guys are going to be just very harmonious. So it definitely could be another fire sign. It could be any sign, though. Okay, but this is definitely your divine counterpart here. 
your end all be all that you are keeping the close ass eye on. Look, with the moon card we just pulled behind that. What? Are you guys kidding me? Look, and the six of cups again. All right, squirt. Uh, I'm about to say squirts. All right, Saggies. Let's throw out some of these for y'all and we going to wrap it up. Or not. <laughs> it is your divine counterpart, so you don't got to wrap it up. All right, Spirit, what do y'all want to tell Sagis about this energy here so we can close it out for them and move on to the next sign? What the fuck, y'all? Sorry, that was very aggressive. But look, Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And then look, this is the one I'm saying what the fuck about. Past life relationship. What did I say? I see it. I saw like, I want to say for like over two centuries, you guys have always, always chosen each other. It's been a long ass time, centuries, that you guys always find each other every lifetime. This is so sweet. I just want to fucking cry. Every lifetime, y'all find each other. You have known each other before, past life relationship. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's right there. I seen, I saw it. Spirit showed it to me. Worth waiting for. And look, Saggy, here you guys are again. So divine time is at work in your love life here. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. But I'm drawn to the bow and arrow there. That's your energy, Saggy. Um, it's bow and arrow's twice out here with this moonology card with this card and then at the bottom we're going to close it out now it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so i feel like someone just needs to i heard reach out and touch somebody's hand no i'm just kidding but someone definitely does need to reach out and um communicate this and get this beautiful ass energy moving all right saggies well I appreciate your time, your love, and your support. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button, you guys. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information is down below. Um, but this is what this is what's new for you for 2022.